3,900 pounds, one owner, and virtually new. This is a 2108 DS Winnebago here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. The folks liked it. They just wanted something a little bit bigger and swapped her up for a larger 30-foot Coachman camper. I'm going to break my usual order of things here a little bit. Um, what I'm mostly going to do with this segment of the video is kind of show you around, let you get to see everything, and get to see that this thing is in darn fine condition. Now, uh, there's a lot else to get into, like the construction, the features, the, the ideology, the, the function of the Murphy bed that we're looking at here. And for that, because this thing is so virtually new, uh, at the end of this sort of like quality and condition portion of the tour, I'm effectively just going to uh, put back up a copy of this video back when this RV was brand new because there's nothing I can tell you about it, you know, here that I haven't already told you about it there. So, uh, you know, like the, I'll share things like the carpet list, the easy cleaning, the pet friendliness, those sorts of things. We've already talked about that in our full video tours. I think what we need to focus on here in this one is you can look around and you can see that it's not scuffed up, it's not banged up. The previous owners did everything right. Like if I get down here under the table away from the glare of that sun, you see how this uh, dinette table has been strapped down to the floor? That is how this is supposed to be done. Winnebago actually ships those nylon buckle straps with it to keep it in place. You can actually see when I get over here, if I move the mattress, how oops, the uh, the bed is in the latched down safety position for transit, the way it's supposed to be. This RV was used and kept the way it's supposed to be. Uh, it just wasn't used very long and kept very long. <laughs> Like I said, they went out camping a few times and said, oh, honey, we went a little bit too small. We need to get a little bit bigger. And that's it. Uh, you know, everything is clean, well kept. I have not located even blemishes. You know, I haven't even located where like a cabinet got scuffed or anything like that. Everything appears to be pretty darn nicely kept. If it weren't for the fact that the decal package simply looks a little bit different today, this is a camper you could very easily confuse with something brand new if I parked it out in the new section of our lot here. And the exact same thing could be said for the exterior here. Um, the uh, only thing that really tips this off as being pre-owned is you can still see the saddles of the weight distribution system still attached to the tongue of this. Now, a quick note on that. I am not familiar with the details of this purchase between this client and our sales contact here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. So, I don't know if they are removing those to move to their new Coachman camper, or if those are simply staying behind and they're upgrading to a new and or different hitch system. So keep that in mind right there. Um, the uh, tires look great. There's no, I mean, you know, no fading, no peeling, no roughage on any of these decals right here. This is what would have been called a late season 2018 with the upgraded decals. The tires look brand spanking new. They must have only used this thing once or twice. Neat little note on these. This is, I've found a, a very, um, something that most people don't realize. The newest current generation of Micro Minis um, has what is now standard with their off-road package, which is what used to be optional. Well, that includes two things. It includes a little bit larger tire, not much larger. They just look cooler is really all it is. And the uh, suspension is set up higher so that the body of the RV rides up higher. Well, this RV right now is set in the low riding position for a lower overhead clearance as well as a, uh, you know, less headwinds. Although, if you have a bigger truck or you do want to change the tires and do the off-road thing, you can simply come over here. Let me give you a little peek at this because I don't talk about this very much. See if I can get it. Oh, right here. This is your uh, axle hanger right here. If you move that bolt to the bottom position, voila, you're going to gain like two or three extra inches of lift on this. And that's all the off-road package is. It lifts the body and it changes the tires. So, you know, if you did want this to uh, basically match up to the newest Micro Minis, but you want the nice used price tag you're looking at here, well, congratulations, guys. You got the best of both worlds. So, appreciate you tuning in. If you're still interested, stay tuned, and we'll give you far more informative version of these tours. Thank you for tuning in today. 3,900 pounds. This is the 2108 DS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And if you're a frequent viewer of my videos, you've probably seen the 2106 DS, which has been 
uh, a staple floor plan in the Winnebago lineup for a long time. In uh, the 2106 DS, I guess DS meant dual sofa because this is a Murphy bed uh, and the uh, 2106 has a sofa slide. This is its new, updated, and I feel a little more intelligent brother, the 2108 DS. And in this case, I guess DS means dinette slide, but it still has that same front Murphy bed. Um, speaking of that, I think Winnebago has crafted pretty much the best Murphy bed on the market. I'll explain why I feel that as we go. Along the way, if you would like to see if we have this in stock, available, how we have it equipped, because it could look even just cosmetically very different from this, then uh, please visit the link in the YouTube video description if you're just on YouTube, or give our team a call. Visit us at uh, Coldwater, Michigan here at our dealership where you get to see all of our facilities like our pieces, parts, you know, service center, and uh, get to see what this thing's all about. So why do I feel this is the best Murphy bed on the market? First of all, did you see what we just looked at? A huge, full pass-through storage. This has the largest pass-through storage of any Murphy bed on the market, period. Um, it, it, it's absolutely fantastic. Now what's great is they did that without a folding mattress. It's just a, uh, a one-piece up-down mattress, not a, a bifold type mattress. And the bifold mattresses used to be about the only way to get a reasonable outside storage capacity. Winnebago went back to the drawing board, they found a better way to do it, and what's great is they found a way to do it with a bullet nose design that's still pretty arrow friendly, as opposed to a blunt force trauma front wall that you typically find with one piece Murphy beds on the market. Um, thankfully, the blunt force trauma Murphy bed is not as common as it used to be. Some manufacturers are finding ways around it. Case in point, this one. Um, so. It, real, a question a lot of people have is, you know, what's a good quality trailer? Statistically, this is among one of three brands that I call the highest quality trailers on the market. I define quality as stays in your driveway and doesn't come back to mind for service. I don't define quality as material selection. I don't define quality as fancy features. I define quality as performance. And this, thankfully, it actually meets all three of those requirements. So no matter what your definition of quality is, this one fits it. Um, you may have noticed as I walked by with the wicked rear back glare there. This is a narrow body model. This is a seven wide so that it is not wider than your vehicle going down the road. Um, you don't get quite the headwinds. Um, you can see around it easier when you're changing lanes or when you're parking. Very handy. Um, you know, 3,900 pounds keeps this very comfortably towable by a lot of vehicles. But what's nice is it's still on a tandem axle. A lot of times when you go to a narrow body, you drop down to a single axle. That can affect your towing, especially at this length. Usually you don't see single axles this length, but regardless, you don't see a lot of, uh, not a lot of tandem axle, narrow body stuff. This is a awesome towing little critter. So I mentioned how the one that we have in stock could look different from this, and I, I mean very different. This, uh, there's different exterior skins available, and actually I have a couple right here that you can see. For instance, this is a platinum exterior decor. We've got a, uh, I call it like blueberry over here. There are different color skins you can put on this. There's six or seven at the time of this filming, actually. Uh, another thing here is they're using the industry's best fiberglass. This is a T60 gel coat. That is literally a diesel pusher skin. There is no one in the towable market matching this uh, anywhere close to this uh, trailer level. You know, you have to go much, much higher dollars and, and much, much larger size to get something even remotely close. Um, it's just one of those things that Winnebago's using the same part suppliers that they've used in their motorhomes for years. They're just building trailers. And that's what I like about this. It's just, it's just smarter, you know? They're, they've already found proven methods. All they're doing is just applying them to something that tows instead of something that goes, if you will. Um, the, uh, Pass-through storage, it is a full pass-through, as you may have noticed. It actually wraps all the way around. But something I like to point out here, a couple things, is uh, a quick battery disconnect. And, uh, so that when you're not using it, it hard kills that battery so you don't get phantom load that trickle drains the battery. And that can happen very quickly. And notice again, the huge bag is sure they're magnetically latched. So these are easy one hand manipulated and it's actually double latched like a giant fifth wheel door but these are also uh nicer like just you know drop them and flop them sort of baggage door latches here you can just let it go and it'll it'll take care of itself quick little solar prep another thing i want to talk about on this out here it's one of the um less common facets although more and more brands are actually starting to move to this uh, is the, the chassis. This rides on a different chassis. It's an aircraft style huck bolted frame made with high strength low alloy steel. What does that mean in English? It means lighter weight 
but stronger. Not the least expensive thing on the market, but this is a premium brand. You know, they went with premium components. If you look at the material selection anywhere in this product, it will meet or exceed anything else on the market. Like a true all aluminum skeleton, a full walk on roof, you know. Um, the uh, We've got galvanized steel wheel wells down here. You know, that's something I fail to talk about in these because it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. But God forbid that radial tire catches some debris on the road and blows up or whatever. This has a galvanized steel wheel well where it'll give you a little protection. Now, uh, we've got a centralized hookup location, outside shower with hot and cold water. Not, uh, so it's a nice little utility cleanup station. Uh, black flush and separate cable and satellite hookups, which are very uncommon. Um, the uh, ladder on the back, that's, that's there because you obviously can walk on the roof. Now, just because an RV doesn't have a real ladder doesn't mean it's not a walkable roof. That's something that used to be true. It's something I used to talk about, but it's changed. Things have changed. It's just not the case anymore. You have to investigate a little further. A quick phone call will fix that for you. Now, they went with the biggest power awning they possibly could on here. And someone's going to say, looking at the roof line, they're going to go, well, the awning could have gone bigger. Not really because of the, how the size of that baggage door, but it's still... You know, for a little couple's camper, you can still keep a little picnic table out here. It's going to be just fine. Um, the uh, awning can be tilted and locked down in place. We do have outside TV hookups out here, and we do have a full-length LED light under that awning as well. Uh, and despite the, the low-profile nature of this chassis, they still threw a double step on here. They probably could have got away with a single. But, again, it's Winnebago. They go all the way with everything. So they threw a double on here to make it the easiest possible entry with a standard bigger entry handle just for simple coming and going. Um, the uh, Up front here, we've got a little propane quick connect if you want to add a little outside grill. You're more than capable of doing that here. And they do have the largest front windows, bedroom windows, basically, uh, of any travel trailer I've ever seen. This is a friction hinge door, which is actually a recent update for them so that the door can't get caught by the wind and fling open. So a quick look at her in travel storage mode with the lights off and the slide closed. This, you know, if it's parked next to the garage and you pop inside real quick, or if you're traveling down the road, you pop your head in, this is what it's going to look like. And it's one of the best aspects of this camper. You can fully access the entire camper, get to all the kitchen, the refrigerator, the bathroom, and something else that uh, Winnebago Murphy beds do is their Murphy beds are designed to be accessible in transit. It's not all Murphy beds can do that. So if you are long distance traveling, if you're doing a lot of traveling and you just want to bed down real quick, you can always get to the bed in a Winnebago Murphy bed model. Now it was really always this, the lighter interior and the very different exterior look that caught our initial attention when Winnebago came a calling. Um, you know, we were a very well established dealer when we picked up Winnebago. They really don't have a lot of unique floor plans you can't find anywhere else. When we started looking at them, though, they offered something that you couldn't find anywhere else. And that was just, it just looked different. And then, thankfully, uh, after we did, be, uh, you know, shake hands and start doing business with Winnebago, we were very pleasantly surprised to find out that uh, they are exceptionally well-built. Statistically speaking, Winnebago's have the lowest instance of warranty claim compared to anything else here at Halet RV. Now, there's some other very good products out here. Passports, Apexes, Rockwoods in general, generally uh, do very well. Um, these guys are just, they're in an absolutely sterling category. So, especially in a smaller camper... The lighter colors, I think, are really critical because they open this thing up and they make it look and feel not so small. Now, in addition to the lighter colors, you're, you're also going to find, um, you know, where they spent a lot more money on things like giant windows in here to give you more light and more airflow. This is absolutely a product I call in the premium category. Some people's now it's easy, it's it's very obvious on the outside with all that that really shiny exterior skin that we'll talk about when we get out there that this isn't just a common ultralight. But when you get inside, some people have said, well, it looks a little bit plain. It's completely by design. This is not intended to be that over the top, in your face, shiny, waxy looking, uh, pretend high end ultralight. The difference here is really in the execution and the materials. Like I said. Bigger windows, if you start doing the wedding ring test, 
you'll hear nicer hardwood fascia as opposed to like MDF foam fascia. If you lift up the dinette stuff here, you're going to see all plywood. You notice we are completely carpetless even in the slide floor. That is an area I see so many little campers screw up. They'll be completely carpetless here and then they throw a chunk of carpet right there, right where the food and the drinks are likely to fall if you do have a spill or something like that. So. Looking more at the, the business end of this camper, this is a Murphy bed model. So it's kind of like having two campers in one. So before we drop the bed down, one thing I did want to show is me with my long legs and big body and everything. There's plenty of room around this. There's all sorts of headroom behind me. I can tilt my head all the way back and still not like bonk my head on anything. And that's just kind of one of the nice things about this. Like it kind of spooks some folks that the bed isn't straight vertical. It doesn't have to be straight vertical. It just has to be out of the way, and it is. So, setting this thing up couldn't be much easier. And it's actually got a nice little new uh, safety locking mechanism now where you can really just kind of yank on this thing and it's not going to go anywhere. But when you're ready to flip it up, there's just a simple little mechanical latch here. That's all it takes. Now, I'll show you a little trick on these. This is a pro tip from your Uncle Josh. Start by lifting up the base, then grab the backside and pull in. And it'll drop itself right down and you're camping. Now what's really cool about this, guys, is the Murphy bed on these is designed to ride in the down position. That means the bed has to be able to be accessible with the slide out closed. So let's say you just love this camper, but you don't care about the Murphy bed. Don't use it as a Murphy bed. It's incredible to me, there's so many, well, do they make the one with the dinette, but without a Murphy bed? It is without a Murphy bed if you don't want it to be a Murphy bed. And that's what's cool about Winnebago's Murphy bed system. Uh, it's one of the things I really stressed with them. By including that full pass-through storage actually below the sofa here, but did you notice how it is fully enclosed? It's separated. The outside storage does not bleed into the interior space. You still have a big pass-through storage space. The only thing this Murphy bed might let you do on a rainy day like today Maybe you're getting a little stir crazy. Maybe you're just a little, and you need a little more room. You can put the bed away, and voila, you open this thing up and you get to enjoy the space and comfort of a super slide without the length, weight, and cost. And that's a good exchange if you ask me. Now before we move on, there are some very good points over here I do want to point out. So you've got the big wide side stands on each side of the sofa. That's something I appreciate because I'm a person where every single time, like I get a dinner plate, I always, I mean without fail, I forget either a napkin or a fork or my drink or something in the kitchen. I love that I just have a nice stand here. I can set down a full dinner plate without worrying about it rocking off a, a, a sofa rounded armrest. Now when it's in bed sleeper mode, we've got the world's biggest, bestest CPAP side stands over here uh, with both household outlets on both sides and then twin USB plugs over here for like, uh, you know, device charging and whatnot. All of our windows are going to have the nicer pleated shades and you even have um, a, uh, a full window in the door. Because your kitchen's on this side of the camper, your viewing of the camp side of the camper is limited. So not only do they give you a bigger window here, but they also remove the frosty glass window in the entry door and put a real window in there in addition to the window here in the uh, kitchen area. Now, uh, it used to be in years past, the oven was optional, the, the stove cover was optional, the sink covers were optional, the countertop extension were optional. They were so heavily demanded that almost everything on this was rolled into the standard package. There are nearly no options even available on this. Uh, anymore. They're just built correctly right out of the box. That's good news for you guys. Think about like if you know someone who like bought a truck or a car and they put like a cool stereo in it or neat uh, aluminum rims or something, they, you never get that money back. You don't get your money back out of extras. When something is built into the standard package though, you get that money out when it comes trade or resale time. That being said, Winnebago's here, they seem to be uh, one of those brands, kind of like a Rockwood, where it's people look at them for retirement grade. If what you're looking for is extremely nice, extremely well executed, and the last one you ever want to buy, but maybe you just don't want a 30, 40 foot trailer or fifth wheel, this is the option here, guys. So uh, in the kitchen, we've got that six cubic foot fridge with the extra little storage up top, and that is all pocket screwed cabinetry, by the way. Coming down past that stainless sink, 
Uh, we've got, I already mentioned the sink covers, and you see that extension. Now we've got full plywood boxed uh, and beveled edge drawers there, so not splinter factories, with whatever cabinet space below the uh, countertop line they possibly could put in there. Now, um, one of the questions people have on these all the time is like power outlets. This is not a giant kitchen. This is basically your primary power outlet station. And then if you are interested, there is another set of USB plugs here. I guess maybe you could, you know, set a phone up there. Perhaps you could run a little power cord line through there. I'm not sure what you'd like to do. But you can see that there's also an outlet up there. What I have seen people do, and, you know, maybe you feel like it's a jerry rig solution, but everybody camps differently. The fact is you can do this. You could easily uh, put, like, a power strip in there and uh, drop the power cord through this little cabinet space and have extra plugs here or drop them down, and I've seen people do that either way. There's there's a lot of different options you could do to expand that. Um, they, oh my gosh, I should have talked about this immediately. They've gone through a slight interior decor renovation at the time of this filming. This actually, this camper is so cutting edge at the time of this filming, guys, in terms of the interior decor revisions. I actually texted um, uh, Adam, who is uh, the Winnebago uh, product manager, the guy who makes the decisions on things, and said, man, I'm really encouraged. I really like how you softened up the interior from the really dark floor that you had before and that oddball sort of gray ceiling panel that I never felt really matched anything, but I'm I don't judge interior decor decisions because I'm not like a guy who's very good at putting together an outfit. If I didn't have a consistent work attire I had to wear every day, God only knows what I'd look like when I leave the house. But I love this. It went, it, they really split the medium. The original Winnebago lightweights that we had had like a near white floor, near white cabinetry. Everything was white, 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 white. It was a lot. And people would walk in sometimes and go, oh, no, thank you. I think that they softened this up because last year they went to a dark, dark brown floor and this almost grayish ceiling. This, I think, is that sweet spot, happy medium, where it has that old, light, comfy Winnebago feel without the aggressive, bright, in-your-eye whiteness that it used to have there. DVD, Bluetooth, CD player up there, inside, outside speakers. Um, the uh, TV and all that's now standard. Another one of those things that used to be optional and is not. We already talked about how that is a completely carpetless slide. Now, you notice it is a step-up slide. Has to be. There's no other way to do it here because this is directly above the wheel well. And uh, if you notice, when we go outside, the wheel well is kind of... Uh, this thing sits so low to the ground, the wheel wells actually protrude up a little bit into the body of the camper. That's very normal, but in bigger campers, manufacturers are able to hide it. In a little camper, they can't. So it does step into the slide out, but it is carpetless. So there's benefits to that, too. Now, this can fold down into a sleeper. There's storage below the seating. And these windows, by the way, not only do they have pleated nightshades for privacy, but they all tilt open for rainy day ventilation on a day like today it's a big deal and having a full size fully equipped kitchen here in a little camper in a narrow body camper a lot of narrow body things uh like the geo pros like some of our apex nanos they might not have an oven they might have a small refrigerator etc this is a fully equipped full feature kitchen it's a full feature trailer it's just compact and well constructed Here's another one of those more premium things that's just not flashy and fancy and it's easy to miss. And that is the fact that all of the doorways in Winnebago trailers are fully framed out so that they hold square and they keep their rigidity. So even though the jacks aren't down on this trailer, this door is always going to open and close the way it should and not pop open in transit. Oops, I missed one of the lights here in the bathroom. Check this out. Boop. Okay, in the bathroom. First of all, this big corner shower over here, it does have a radius shower track so that you can get a uh, little more elbow room up in there, which is nice for a bigger fellow like me. Uh, simple power vent fan skylight above the shower, but it is a pretty darn nice large shower, and it is fully surround protected. Um, so if you, know, you are splashing water around, it's not going to have the potential of water damaging the walls. Now that's actually not, pardon my umbrella down here by the way, it's raining, and I thought, you know what, the shower pan's probably the best place to put that, so I'm not dribbling water everywhere. But if you are looking at a camper that does not have shower wall surround paneling, it just has normal wall panels like that, it's not the end of the world, guys. When you're done showering, take a quick towel, wipe it down, it's going to be fine. Stuff doesn't get water damaged from brief, immediate exposure. It gets water damaged by prolonged, neglected exposure. Now, positioning this toilet in this bathroom is good because there's plenty of leg room in here and a foot flush to keep your nose away from your business. Coming around the corner, just like in the kitchen, if you noticed, 
stainless sink, superior materials. Um, and Winnebago's are still one of the only manufacturers offering first year roadside assistance. So they're giving you that extra protection that I think you're gonna want. Um, now starting up top here, you can see the uh, closet storage in this bathroom is tremendous. Big floor to ceiling closet. And the bottom door does kind of interfere with the toilet a little bit, but the fact is you can still get in there. It, it's, you know, they, they might share a little bit of space, but it's not really affecting the use of this camper whatsoever. These little guys right here, because, I mean, they're under 4,000 pounds. They've, they're a great couple's layout. You've got some guest space. They've got that lighter look. They're smaller, but don't feel smaller, but they're really high class.